News 10 with Alicia Malaby and Dana Howard. This is News 10 at 6. When we come back, you have heard of the Roswell incident, but what about the Phoenix Lights? Well, whether you believe in UFOs or not, you'll want to stay tuned for this story. Even if you don't believe in UFOs or flying saucers, many people insist something mysterious happened over the night skies of Phoenix in March of 1997. Yeah, a series of unexplained lights seemingly crossed the sky and amazed thousands of witnesses across the state. And intrigued by the incident, a Grass Valley man who has produced a documentary film examining the so-called Phoenix lights. Jonathan Mum has his story. There are a number of reasons why Steve Lance thinks the Phoenix lights were real. First of all, there was over 10,000 witnesses that looked up, and it, they were looking up to see hale Bob comet that night. And so that was a reason you had an extra, extraordinary number of witnesses outside looking up. Then lab analysis finds the lights unique. We don't know what they are, but what we do know is that they don't match up to any known light source. So it's a, it's a real mystery in that sense. But mostly it was Steve's introduction to Dr. Lynn Kitai, who had seen the lights herself and has since written a book about them. Dr. Lynn has some very compelling uh, photos and video, which is in the film. Together, the two decided to make a documentary movie about the lights. She wrote it, interviewed the witnesses who appear in the film. He shot it, edited it, did the special effects, and even composed and played the music. <laughs> She and I paid for this out of our own pockets and because we felt it was just too important and uh, it needed to be told. And no, Steve doesn't buy the official word that the lights were just military flares used to light up the Barry Goldwater firing range at night. After all, he points out, the sightings took place across the entire state of Arizona. And if you look at the totality of the evidence, he says... Starts to convince you that something must have happened. Something really extraordinary must have happened. In Grass Valley, Jonathan Mum, News 10. Maybe. Well, Steve's documentary earned him the Best Director Award at the recent New York International Film and Video Festival. The movie is showing tonight and tomorrow night at 7.30 at the Nevada Theater in Nevada City. For more information, you can log on to News10.net. That's fascinating. Yeah, I like the music, too. Yeah, that was pretty that cool. That mysterious sound.